$503,000 uh, in those costs. And it's all about what you're pouring down your sinks and flushing down your toilets. Um, putting grease and oil in your, in, that's ragging. This picture here is of ragging. Um, those, those flushable wipes you see in the store, um, yeah. it should be illegal. You should not be able to call them flushable because this is what happens. Are you kidding me? Um, this, wow. is, this is a pump in one of our major stations, and these things just gather up so no more water can flow through at all. Wow. And it's very expensive fixing that kind of thing. We have to pull out all the equipment out, completely either uh, clean it or replace it, so it's, it's a lot of cost to that. Wow, and that's dental floss, oh. wipes can all add up. Flushable wipes, uh, dental floss acts like rope holding it all together. It's, it's it's very, very uh, expensive to, uh, to clean up these kind of things. So even if somebody's doing it once in a while, that can add to the problem and then add to our water bills. So some of the items we should never put down the drain are, list off a few for us. Oh, anything like uh, even cigarette butts, uh, dental floss, uh, flushable wipes are a huge thing. They add up very quickly and they can, they can make a, a huge mess. Um, Anything, the, the only thing you should be putting down in your sink is liquids and uh, flushing down anything what you produce and, and toilet paper. Beyond that, we shouldn't be putting anything, anything in, the, uh, in the systems. And not only does it back up the systems and create a higher cost for our water, it can actually get into our lakes sometimes, depending on what we're doing. So talk to me about how we might be washing our cars wrong. I've always done it in my driveway. Well, you know, if, if you're near a storm drain and you're washing your car, all that soap, all that